Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with episode 8 now of my The Order playthrough. And that's a Jews term right there. Uh, so we're going to go check out this massive landmass to the north. And one of the things I'm scouting for is a pretty good flat area to to set up shop at. And I figure larger landmass like this, I got a better chance of that happening. Although this island here is not bad. I did check this out. And uh, so I'm over here with an Osteraptor. And it's not that big is the only downside. But beach here, we got a natural ramp coming up this way here. And then actually a really good flat area right up here. This be about perfect to build on. It is a bit chilly up here though. That's that's the downside. But figure, hey, let's go for this purple drop since it's literally right here. Cool waterfall. I have to check this little area out actually. I mean, it's relatively flat. It's kind of sloped. Drop pods. Okay. And it's kind of get that multi-tiered effect to it. I'm not going to, like, set my heart on any one spot, though, from the air. I'm going to find a couple of spots that might look good and then come by later with something on the ground. Probably my Herrerasaurus, because, well, it seems to be able to handle itself pretty well. And check it out that way. Like, this looks pretty nice and flat here from a distance till you get close to it. And then you realize that, no, it's actually, it still kind of is. It does slope uphill a bit. But, I mean, it's not terrible. Hello, Bronto. And... There we go. Got ourselves some nice purple lupin around here. And, well, I can show you. Theoretically, it's called blue lupin, isn't it? Yeah, this guy is not terribly fast on the ground, but... He's a pterosaur. He doesn't have to be fast on the ground. And Megalodon Saddle. I think it's like number four of those I've got now. Mm, hello, Tyranodon. Nice waterfall. I am getting a, little, a few frame skips around here. Uh, one thing I did find out that was causing... Oh, bridges. Uh, causing an issue earlier was that glacier spot right there. It was seriously over-spawning um, walrus, of all things. Uh, there was about 80 of them over there. And more of them were just like popping in in front of my eyes. So, Before I had to do a dino wipe. Oh, that's a car car sword. I'm not hanging around here on a flyer. I will be flying, I'll be hit by that fear roar attack, and I will be ejected out of the seat. This thing, I might not fall to my death. Because I can stand on this thing. I mean, I can... I can do that for God's sakes, but he does try landing right away. I like the bridge. Hmm. So yeah, a couple episodes ago, I was lamenting there really wasn't any ruins. I, there are a few here and there. And uh, there's a couple of really cool ones. Like there's one on the volcano I really need to show off. But uh, next time I go over there to, to sightsee and whatnot on video, I'm going to be taking a flyer. And there's a galley. It's kind of a nice area here to, to kind of sprawl out upon. The hell? Hmm. Something got attacked. That's a hat that's a Optrix. And there's another Shunoceratops. Or not Ceratops. <laughs> Shantungasaurus and Eo Triceratops. I don't even know where Shuno got it mixed in there, but yeah, that's a that's a Hatsigopteryx, and they are the apex air predator. And it's the size of a Quetz. In real life, it's actually slightly bigger than a Quetz, and uh, very very hungry. Now this looks like the fires of Gondor right here, almost right. The rock fillers you can put bonfires on top of. And let's go ahead and head up all the way up to here. Blue drop. Nice flat area here. 
natural bridge. Eh, don't take up here, okay. And what do we got? Uh, metal doorway. Already got that. It was a blue. I have not seen any green or white drops on this map, though. Oh, there's another Colobo right there. Huh. Look at that. That one's a male. The patterns on the wings are slightly different. Actually, that is another... Is that... Yeah, that's another male. That's a male. I'm on a female right now. That's a Tarbosaurus down here. I think uh, Armored Rex. Okay. Eh. So... Slower, does more damage against armor, and has natural armor of its own. Well, there's a Carno. Oh yeah, it wants piece me too. Let's go, I guess, up to Green Ob. And let's see. Oh, another natural bridge over that way. Oh, let's go over here first. And there's actually something up here besides just the bridge. Cool, good choice. Uh, wow, it's actually like a settlement up here. Can you, you can actually go in the houses in here. It's got little, little holes in the walls, okay. Uh, let's see, can I maybe bust this open? Oh, I can, look at that. Oh god, yeah. <sighs> Okay, not the boxes. It's the same boxes as before. <laughs> I'm too heavy to move right now. So this is all just going to go on the ground. I I hope that further on in the map's release that uh that quantity drops. I mean, it's kind of cool to be able to get the metal tools and stuff out of there. But damn, that was a lot of tools all at once. Okay, we got like boardwalks in the ground. Hmm, Paras. Not a huge deal. So I want to be using an, an actual axe on these. Yep. Okay, the cart is just there. Okay. But if I use an axe on those, I found out I get more metal. I wonder if these count as door frames. Do I have the stuff on me to make a, a double door? No, I don't. Uh, what do I need? I need thatch and fiber. Okay, that's easy enough to get around here. Yeah, it should be more than enough. I'm curious to see if I can maybe just move into this place, honestly. Uh, double door? Sure, why not? Mmm, doesn't look like it. Damn. Okay, next question. Can I put a double door frame in there? Uh, one of these. Nope, it does not count as a foundation. Okay. I mean, it would fit perfectly if I could. I might be able to actually get like a floating foundation down and line it up just right. I could put a door on that though. I mean, that's an idea. Frick. That's, I think that's a Rajasaurus over there. Oh, cool. We got tree branches on the roof over here. Yeah, that's right. It's had that gate over there. All right. Uh, yeah. Nope. That... That's a Chalantesaurus, which is actually even worse. Uh, they they hit with one hell of a bleed attack, is what their thing is. It's got some cool colors to it, though, doesn't it? I've only got five uh, prime meat on me, though. Prime meat baits. Tell you what, let's go ahead and we'll uh, drop that off there. 
Yeah, there you are. So 132. One primate was not enough to get it to keep from attacking me, so. Oh, now he's now he's after me. Okay. Hey. Nope. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to ignore that for now. And green up. That is kind of a cool thing too, is you can throw a bait down and use that to gauge the uh, the dinosaurs, you know, level and all that. Oh, okay, we have actual redwoods here. That's a tech quetz. Okay. Hi, what level are you? A three eighty eight. That is like a max level tech quetz too. All right, tell you what. Here. Do you seriously not see that go by you? I was trying to get him before he went into the redwoods. I'm going to have to come back for that guy. Uh, let's see, where did he go? There he is. There he is. Okay. If I can get him partially tamed, I can use the taming tracker to come back to him. Oh, he is, like, nice and low to the ground, too, isn't he? Hey, there we go. What's that? Oh, it's moss chops. Okay. Two of them. That's actually really good signs that uh, I can run around on the ground around here. And there's a lice right here, too. Yeah. Dude, where are you going? Oh, I rode on your wing for a bit. Oh, hey, it's Venturon. Oh, yellow drop too. Cool. Uh, there's a Therizinosaur up here. I need to kill some UTs. Well, the Moss Chop's got it. And I don't want that. Um, that's another Herrerasaurus over there. Uh, Theres, uh, they need a Uteranus Lung bait. Well, the challenge bait or what do you want to call it. Trophy bait maybe? To, uh, you're a male though, aren't you? You are. Okay, can I pet you or are you going to want food? You're going to want food. Oh, you even gave me a gift. Okay, here. If you want food, you can have that. I got a lot more of those. I don't have a male moss chops yet. That's why I was like, ooh, I might as well. Don't mind if I do? Okay. Uh, what did he give me? 33 rare mushrooms. Okay. And... There's that tech quetz. Okay. And get low over his head. Now drop it. And he wanted nothing to do with that. Man, what is your issue? Do I have my guide on me? Oh, well. Start taming a raptor. I do. Okay. Okay. It's got to load up everything and it takes a couple seconds. There we go. So, Quetzal. Is there an entry in here for tech? There is, but tech Quetzals are not. Not in there. Okay. So, where did my the raptor that ate my bait go? It's not you. You're the, or is it? No, it is you. No, stop it. Okay, let's just go straight up. It keeps them from moving and makes them lose aggro. Okay, no. Okay, so you can tell when she lost aggro there. She immediately went after the bait. Um, well, I haven't gotten that the uh, that male raptor. You know, I wonder what could have been message or whatever it was, or you'll never know what could have been. Hey, come here, let me pet you. 
I am getting kind of framey over in this part of the map. Honestly, though, with Fjordor, I yeah, frames have been a bit of an issue here. I think it's just all the resources that have to load in. I think the male is up there creating hell with the uh, the parasaurs. Here, you can have that. Yeah, food for you. Come on. 96%. Okay, cool. And just have to wait for you to get pet again, I guess. Hmm. One more pet, okay. Now, I saw something big up on that hill I want to go check out here, so I want to get this done ASAP. Come on. Let me pet you. Want care, one of the two. Pet, thank you. And okay, get rid of that. Let's go here. Get in the ball. All right, let's go. Oh, it's just a diplo. Okay. Look at this area. Oh, look at that. Hello. Helm's Deep, anyone? Yeah, look at that. This castle, everything. Here's the wall. Yeah, Helm's Deep. Or at least a, an homage to it. And... <laughs> More loot boxes here. Yeah, look at that. Alright. Yeah, that's another 50 scrap metal and, and food. Alright, cool. Oh, there's more, more loot up here anyway. Not breaking those open. Is that a barrel over here? No, okay. I'll do the barrels. I get food and scrap metal out of it. The crates, on the other hand, though, it's a whole other story. And there's like there's no no animals in here, so just checking to make sure there's not like a truodon or something hiding up back there. And there it goes, cave entrance. It had to load in per second. I'm gonna say, and we're under the world, but not quite. Okay, well. I love this little grotto here. This is kind of cool. Huh. Crystal everywhere. So, I mean, if I need crystal anywhere to go, it, this stuff I bet is, no, actually it's not, it's just rubble, okay. All right. Okay, we got the flagstone walkway back here. I am dehydrated, huh? All right, you got another statue there. Does this go anywhere back here? Or does it just loop around? I think it just loops around. This, this is just an Easter egg is what this is. Unless there's something in the water. Yeah, this is the way we came in, so... Yep. I guess let's check the water out. Silica pearls for days down here. Okay, cool. Looks like just pearls. Okay. Okay. 
Awesome. I do love this area. This area is nice. I mean, look at all this. And... Anything else around here? No, it doesn't really look like it. Just a, a really nice area, actually. Alright, so yeah, back to the entrance. Let's get out of here, I guess, for now. This would be an amazing place to uh, display artifacts and stuff, though. Because it's how dark it is in here, and the way the artifacts glow, that would be... Uh, that would look really cool. Alright. Got a primitive pike and a primitive wooden pick. Alright, and I guess you can have a level up here. Can you go through that? Oh yeah, you can. Cool. And then is there anything? It's just a spring. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Got more of the wall up here now. Actually, it's more like a dam. More statues. All right, cool. What's up at the top here? Causeway. All right. So, where are we at on the map here? Oh, right about here, actually. Okay, cool. Yeah, I hit the edge of the redwoods and turned around and chased that tech quest that it turns out I can't tame. I might be able to knock out tame it still. I just really prefer not to have to, but. Thought that was water shimmering at first, and it's just dragonflies in formation. Okay, we got standing stones here. Yeah, let's put that away. And let's see, same again, okay. All right, so I was just seeing how many different symbols there were. This is kind of cool here too. That needs to have like a bonfire or something in the middle of it, I think. Oh, there's a, is that a key, Kalanzosaurus? That is, look at that. Nope. Uh, it can pick up man-sized creatures and then do insane amounts of damage to them. Uh, yeah. Can't pick up the flyer, but I don't know if it can or not. Like, that's two fairies right over there. Uh, it, can, it can pull me off of a mount. I don't really want to find out the hard way. All right, and I mean, just look at this map, though. I mean, this map is gorgeous. Just a shame about the blue drops. <laughs> still, they're they're still you know blue drops. I am just bouncing off a freaking saber tooth head right now. God, guys. <laughs> I'm just freaking bouncing like a trampoline off of these guys. Thank you for saving me. Although I think I got a headshot with my crossbow there because I saw a 1500 damage pop up. That would be a bit much though, wouldn't it? And then here's the, the red obelisk. So we got our statues here, and looks like it's the uh, horse, dire bear, Thyla, and Kairuku. Yep, same tributes, okay. Now I guess I could use these to move, you know, animals around and whatnot, so, but... I've got other ways of doing that. It's always really kind of cool just to fly up an obelisk, too.
That's it. There's an invisible wall right there. Which actually I think is the ceiling of the map at that point. So where is this? Eh, it's got a ways to go yet. It's purple, which is not usually terrible. You know, I mean, it's not red by any stretch, but purple's not usually too bad. All right, and what do we got in the redwoods here? Lots and lots of snow. And okay, we got more of the standing stones up here. That would look really cool with like bonfires or something on top of each one of those. I'll have to think about that. Oh, it was Carno. I heard a really heavy footstep, and Carnos walk really heavy for their body size. I'm not sure exactly why, but they do. Alright, and... Yeah, I'm not really seeing a whole lot around here. Well, that's the edge of the map right there. So that water is probably yeah, not accessible. Kind of took a meandering path through all of this, didn't I? Is that purple drop down yet? Almost, looks like. Oh, it's a purple glowy drop. All right, where'd that carno go? And, eh, simple handgun, not bad. All right, so I want to go this way. Yeah, one of the cool things about these Colobos is you can actually... Wrong button. There we go. Uh, you can actually level their speed up. I usually don't see much point in doing that. But if I start breeding them, then, uh, yeah, I'm going to have one that is just basically just speed. Yeah, downside is they only have two attacks. They got the bite, which he pooed right as he did that, which was great timing. And then a roar. And that's that's kind of it. So. so yeah, there's blue, red, and green is kind of hidden behind the clouds now. Right here by the red was kind of flat up here. I like it. A lot of RGs. Okay, more sauropods. There's some coelophysis down there. Okay. But for the most part, there's that settlement up there, by the way. Uh, things spawning here is what I've seen spawning elsewhere in the southeast island. Which, according to the... Uh, I think it was, it, the, it was either the Steam Workshop page or the, the wiki page. And there's that... Stinking Quetzal again. He's flying so low, too. But, uh, the, this world here is 100%. And, which I can believe. I mean, this has been lovingly crafted. The other two worlds that are part of this map are not quite yet. I think they were both at 0% still. Which means they're being worked on, but I don't even think they're available to, uh, to play test quite yet. So what happens if I fly through here? Uh, probably not a good idea. The world's not... There it goes. Oh, my goodness. Look at all this. Hello, dwarf statue. Can I fly in here? Because I mean, this is definitely a cave. But I'm not seeing any way to progress past, you know, here. Look at that. So 
So there's no real pathway or anything else for here, but. Um, I could jump down there, but A, I don't know if it's going to be an instant death or not. Could be. Very strongly could be. You know, let's try... Let's get over here. And it's not ejecting me from the right... Or the, there he goes! <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. That's why I'm all like, okay. It's not ejecting me from my bird quite yet. So I need to get some grappling hooks. Okay. Alright, come on. Let's see. I'm not seeing any other way. And like in Valgiro, there was a cave that, I mean, it looked like you could jump down there without a problem or go down there. And yeah, it was instant death as soon as you got below a certain level. So, forgive me if I don't trust that. How? There you go. So where are we at here? Okay, wasn't the the village like stockade thing? It was just to the north of here, wasn't it? I think so, yeah. Oh hey, look, there's a red drop coming down. Uh there's a purple one already on the ground. Is that like an ice flow there? In the water? Um, yeah, I think it's glitched into this rock, though, so you can't access it. I've come across a few that you just can't access. Which is, it's a bit, you know, it's a bit of a shame, honestly. But, I mean, it, it happens on the island, too, so it's not like it's 100% the map maker's fault. A lot of it is just how these things work. Dracosaurus up there. It just fell off the cliff and kind of ran back up a bit. Yeah, that is. Okay. Now one thing that is kind of strange is the grass right here. The <laughs> hanging on. Just, yeah, where it spawned in. There's a few, yeah, it's doing it here too. Okay, you're almost down. But I, mean, I do love this, just the scenery in this map is amazing. Oh, you're even glowing. Look at you. Come on. There it goes. And we got a 270 armor air neo saddle. See, I do have loot quality turned up, so. But not that much. I think I've got it to two and a half. So, yeah, it's not floating ice, it's a. Uh, it's rocks. Expect that to be covered in like seagulls or something, honestly, just looking at it. Well, and there's Red Ob and there's the volcano. So we're definitely getting down towards the southern reaches there. Oh, and there's a Rex down there. And that's. That's a saltus or a uh, sauropelta. I almost said saltosaurus. That's a whole different critter. Sauropeltas, though. Oh, 
Oh, and I oh, was that an alpha. No, no, it wasn't alpha. Oh, for God's sakes! But thank you. It just kept pushing me further and further back. There we go. Yeah, sort a uh, sort of Pelta Notosaur. Yeah, you don't like me enough to do that. Okay, I can understand. I need to bribe you with more food first, right? Yeah, this thing is... It's big. Look at that up there. Hmm. Here, let's just, uh... We're gonna salt the ground around here with some of those and uh, hopefully it'll make some progress while I'm not here. I wanna check this out real quick and then call us an episode. I have no idea how long it's gone on for. I kinda started lost kinda sort of lost track of uh, hello Fasolosuchus. Uh lost track of time when I found freaking Helm's Deep. Okay, so this is just a wall, there's nothing inside of here. No buildings or anything? Okay, we got a few gates. We got a ramp up to the top of the wall. We got a pachycephalosaurus wandering around in the courtyard. Got some banners. Okay. I don't know. After finding Helm's Deep, this one's a little underwhelming. <laughs> so. I mean, it's still cool, but. It's, a, it's like a whole another different level of cool here at this point. Oh, that's a Carnoraptor. Probably shouldn't be down here fighting this thing. Oh, and I killed it. Alright, so now where did I leave my Sorapelta friend at? Let's just try it on. Okay. It was over on this one, wasn't it? I wonder what's in the lake. Well, there's a Harper Gornis down there. It's kind of savaging things. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Um, was it over here, maybe? I've got to find this... Uh, the sword pelt I was trying to make my friend. And I need to get back to base. And I'm actually a pretty good flight away from base. So and I did take a meandering route to get here, but still it it's a pretty good distance. Son of a frickin' <sighs> Kirkarkodontosaur, I'm dead. There it goes, level 144. Well, that's a good point to end off on, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, I'm barely on the map over there. But, thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next one, sign signing out, have fun.